This is the continuation of Best Vendor Cybersecurity Certifications. But this time, we'll go for the expert level. Again, a lot of people are still hesitant to take vendor-specific certifications. And why? Hmm. What are the top companies to work with again? Are this not IT slash tech vendors? You know, working with these companies, you'll gain many things. And this includes pretty good technical experience, perks such as certifications, travel, and the chance of getting lots of money, it would be pretty high. And getting vendor expert level certifications, you will have a greater chance working with these companies. For those who are new to this channel, welcome. I am your host, name is Dean Armada, and I am career and certification captain. And on this channel, we talk about tech careers and certifications, trivia and tutorials in cybersecurity, trivia and tutorials in cloud and data center, and my journey as an IT instructor. So feel free to check out the rest of the channel and consider subscribing. The first one is pretty obvious. It's CCIE or Cisco Certified Internetwork Expert in Security. Assuming you are already CCNP security, all you need to do is take CCIE lab exam. Passing S-Core, which is one of the exams under CCNP security, qualifies you to be a CCI security candidate. Consider core exams as the old CCIE written exams. The current CCIE security lab blueprint is version 6.0, and it's an 8-hour hands-on lab exam. It covers perimeter security and intrusion prevention. These are more of ASA and firepower solutions. Second, secure connectivity and segmentation. These are more VPN solutions. Next is infrastructure security. These are more of securing routers and switches best practices. Next is Identity Management, Information Exchange, and Access Control. These are more AAA, Authentication, Authorization, and Accounting, and Cisco I Solutions. Last, Advanced Threat Protection and Content Security. These are more application security. Email, Web, DNS, and this also includes the integration of FTD, or Firepower Threat Defense, with Cisco StatWatch, Threat Grid, Cognitive Threat Analytics, or CTA, and many more. Next, F5 CSE, or F5 Certified Solution Expert in Security. I should have taken this exam, you know, but it requires to have three specialist level certifications. These are F5 CTS, or F5 Certified Technology Specialist in LTM, ASM, and APM. And all of these certifications expires in every couple of years. You have to retake all three every two years. It doesn't automate renewal process by just passing only one exam. Anyway, F5 CSE is probably the most difficult expert level certification exam that is written based. Yes, just multiple choice. It's difficult because those requirements alone are already pretty tough. This exam has 70 questions and only 65 items are scored and the 5 items are just pilot or beta items. It covers Section 1, Threat Analysis, Section 2, Architect Solutions, Section 3, Operations and Implementation, and last, Section 4, Security Response. This only covers F5 Big IP related security technologies. It doesn't cover the new F5 solutions, such as F5 Distributed Cloud or F5XC and Engine X solutions. Take note that F5 Big IP focuses on web application security. It also includes some SSL slash TLS VPN solutions, AAA or authentication, authorization, and accounting solutions, and other data center network related security technologies. Next is Fortinet NSE, or Network Security Expert 8 Expert. Hmm, does it not sound pretty redundant? Network Security Expert 8 Expert? Okay, well, I know all Fortinet certifications are renamed and rebranded, and is now called 
Sportsnet Certified Expert or FCX. And why? We're going to talk about these in another video. The prerequisite of NSE8 is NSE8 written exam. Now, once you pass this exam, you are now eligible to take NSE8 practical lab exam. Again, NSE8 is now called FCX or Fortinet Certified Expert. Now, Fortinet NSE8 written is a total of 60 questions in 120 minutes. This can be taken via Pearson VUE. While NSE8 lab exam is a hands-on configuration and troubleshooting practical exam. It's one day, two sessions, again, hands-on lab. And just like CCI security lab, you have to go to those testing location, which is only available in selected countries. And to be honest, I'm not quite a big fan of this certification. Fortinet just have too many products and solutions. Majority are covered in lab exams. But obviously, the exam centers with their number one platform, which is Fortinet 40K. But this is the only certification that is close to CCIE security. And uh, I will definitely put Fortinet NSE 8 or F56, F5CX or Fortinet Certified Expert over JNCIE or Juniper Network Certified Internet Expert in Security. Yes, I would put NSE8 over JNCIE Security all day. All you Palo Alto Networks certification fans out there, unfortunately, I can't include Palo Alto Networks Certified Network Security Consultant or PCNSC. This is considered expert level certification. Yeah, higher than PCNSE. But not too many people knows PCNSE as their expert level certification. Palo Alto Networks doesn't even promote or market this certification at all. Pretty strange, isn't it? So this concludes our best vendor cybersecurity certification videos.